Hello mga ka schoolmates, it's another episode at tuloy-tuloy pa rin ng online learning under the new normal. Ang featured subjects natin for today's episode ay computer and values education. Kaya kung ready na kayo, simulan na natin ang online learning. Good morning kids! How are you today? Good! Today we are going to learn computer and values. Are you excited to learn with me? Look at your screen. Teacher Mika shared to you some basic computer so that you will understand our lesson for today. Now look at the picture. What can you see there? Computer. Good job! It's a computer. Now go to the next slide. The next slide is your monitor. You can see there. It says there, the monitor looks like a TV and lets you see your work and your files. Now, you can see the next slide. What's that next slide? What part of the computer is that? The CPU. Okay, the CPU. The brain of your computer is the CPU. Again, CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. Now, let's go to the next slide. What's that? Okay. Long before you were born, we do not have USB, but we have the floppy disk drive. This is where we save the files. Okay, it's very thin, and it's made up of hard plastic case. Okay, let's go to the next one. What's that on the screen, Robly? CD-ROM. <laughs> CD-ROM disk drive. Okay. CD-ROM disk drive stands for compact disk read-only read memory. They are flat, shiny disks that store information. Can you read that, Charles? Okay, thank you, Robly. It's DVD drive burner. Avery, please read it for me. The newest computers come with the option of DVD drive, a DVD digital video disc look just like a CD but holds much more information. Okay, so 4.7 gigabytes data. So that's the DVD drive. Now let's go to the next slide. Thank you, Avery. Flash driver. Okay, flash drive. Ate Kyrene, what's the color of the flash drive? Blue. It's blue. Okay. What do you think? Uh, blue and silver. Right. Okay, let's ask somebody to tell me something about the flash drive. Francis, what do you know about the flash drive? You plug it to the USB. Okay, you plug it in and then what will happen? work on the front of your computers and you can save to it. Yes, exactly. You can save files on the flash drive by plugging it into the port. Now, let's go to the next slide. Input, input device. device. Good job! It's the input devices. You can see here, what's the white one thing there? Mouse. Mouse, okay. Then, the next picture is... It's a printer. Okay. How about the next one? The keyboard. It's the keyboard. Okay. You often use it. Now, the keyboard is probably the most used input device that you do. Okay. It operates like a typewriter and it has so many additional keys. Now, special keyboard keys. What are those? What's the arrow up and arrow down there? They are called what? They're often called the... Uh, it starts with the letter C. Cursor. Cursor. Good job. Okay. This cursor can be moved up and down, left to right. Now, kids, thank you for listening in our computer subject. You have to get ready. We will go to our values education subject. Hi, kids. Again, we're back. And in celebration of the hand-washing day, Today, we are going to learn the importance of hand washing and good hygiene. Please go to the next slide. How 
There are nine hands in the picture. Now look at the next slide. Look at the picture. There are about 13 billion, but many do not get washed and then they get sick. Hey, now teacher Mika is going to ask you, why do you need to wash your hands? I'm going to start with Francis. Francis, why do you need to wash your hand? Oh, so no dirt. Thank you, Avery. So if you eat the germs, can go to your food. Robbie, so no coronavirus in your hands. Kyrian? And no any germs and no coronavirus and no COVID. And Charles? no dirty things too. Okay, thank you, Kyrian. Charles? So your hands will be clean. Nicole? So you can't get sick. Yes, all your answers are correct. Okay, we need to wash our hands to remove the dirt in it and in order for us to protect ourselves from sickness, from getting virus around us. Thank you, Teacher Mika, dahil meron kami natutunan sa computer and values education. At gaya ng promise ko sa inyo, ay may bonus lesson tayo for today. Ang home gardening. <music> isang pagtatanim ng mga plants sa backyard natin or sa small space. Yes. So, ang kahalagahan po ng pag home gardening, ito ay nagbibigay sa atin ng kaaya-aya at kawili-wili na mga activities. Ito ay nagbibigay sa mga kids ng new learnings, new skills para makapag-discover about science and nature. Ang kahalagahan ng home gardening ay ito ay nagbibigay sa atin ng lilim at sariwang hangin. Ang sariwang hangin, ito ay tinatawag nating oxygen. Ang oxygen ay hangin na nilalanghap natin. At ang hangin naman na nire-release natin ay tinatawag na carbon dioxide na kung saan ito yung hangin na kailangan ng mga plants. Pangalawa, Ito ay nagpapatigil sa pagkakaroon ng landslide at pagbaha. Malaki ang naitutulong ng pagtatanim para maiwasan ang pagbabaha. Pangatlo, ito ay nagiging tulong sa ating mga pamilya at community sa pang-araw-araw na gustusin ng pamilya. Pangapat, ito ay nagbibigay ng kagandahan sa ating kapaligiran at community. Nagbibigay sa atin ng exercise. Sa pagtatanim, makakatulong ito sa pag-exercise na nagbibigay din sa atin ng malusog at malakas na pangangatawan. Gamit ang home gardening, magbibigay din ito sa atin ng vitamina at minerals na kung saan makukuha natin sa mga tanim natin. Ayan mga ka-schoolmates, pwede nyo nang itry magtanim sa inyong bakuran at gawing nibangan ang home gardening. Thank you for joining me today and see you next week for another episode. At lagi nating tatandaan na para maging cool, always go to school. Dito lang sa School TV with Kuya Eman.